so my first interaction with him uh, was when I took the CMOS analog class. Uh, during the classes, I was really amazed uh, with the passion, intensity, and effective communication uh, with which uh, he takes the classes. Uh, what I found also unique is uh, all uh, insights and sim simplistic explanation for seemingly complex concepts. And what I also found interesting is uh, use of some everyday analogies, which will make sure that the students won't forget uh, complex concepts. Uh, if I may share, uh, one famous example was the Vada Pao example <laughs> that he has uh, used in the mixed signal class for teaching Delta Sigma modulation. And uh, during the class it felt it's okay, fine. But then uh, when the students wrote the feedback and uh, when the batch got convocated and during the convocation they talked back to us and uh, they said that this is the example they will never forget and they will always remember the data signal modulation because of the Vada Pao. <laughs> so it shows the uh, effectiveness of his teaching style. And talking about analogies, uh, like the day before we were discussing something and I misspoke a butterworth filter as butterscotch filter. <laughs> I thought that he would make fun of me, but his immediate reaction was, oh, I'm going to use that in my next class. <laughs> so I found that very interesting. Uh, I took his classes, enjoyed really well, and then uh, I decided to work with him. Uh, when I was a uh, teaching assistant with him, uh, that's the first time I realized the huge amount of effort uh, that he and the TAs put for conducting that class. And he's uh, very uh, well organized when it comes to taking classes. And I think it's a very good opportunity for the TAs as well to learn. Uh, he likes to uh, make his own handwritten notes and he devotes ample time uh, for the lecture preparation. And if you really see him in the lab just before the lecture, you would think that he is uh, preparing for his own daily exam. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have interacted very closely with him uh, for my work. Uh, he is always energetic and passionate and cheerful about everything that he does. Uh, he has a vast uh, industry experience and he really likes to uh, convey the learnings of those experiences to the students. Uh, one of the examples is uh, uh, when we are working for our first chip take out, uh, he really wanted that uh, we, uh, we do not miss anything and we make sure uh, we manage all the nitty gritties of the professional chip design. So for that we used to work uh, round the clock. And he would stay with us in the lab till late night, something, uh, sometimes even 4 5 a.m. in the morning. So that was very inspirational for us. Thank you, sir. And he's very particular uh, in the way he walks and the lab goes around. So, uh, like draw, starting from very small things like drawing schematics, layouts, making presentations and papers. Uh, as a group, sometimes you feel like it's uh, like a little OCD, but then you realize that uh, you have to pay attention to small details when you are working as a professional. Apart from the work, uh, he's a very jolly person in the lab. He communicates a lot with students and he, like, he uses a lot of catchphrases. So, which I found very interesting, and some of my favorites are the fog in the cockpit and to darta bhotel. So, during all the time that we have spent with Professor Zele, uh, he has passed on few of his habits to us, uh, and he has uh, like made us addicted to the morning team coffee breaks and the use of fountain pens. Uh, so, to sum it up. It has been a very pleasurable experience working with you, sir, as a student, as a TA, and now as a research scholar. Uh, thank you so much, and congratulations. Sir.